Läuft. Dennis says läuft, which is the German for runs, which means le runs in French. So here we are again in the complete chaos room and my computer is still in the box, which means the video from yesterday that you've seen isn't even edited yet, which means time travel kind of shit. So, um, we had to use a whole bunch of my stuff, which well, I didn't quite plan on, but uh, things weren't there. So, hey, whatever. This is to go. Things happen. And this is where uh, we're going to put Colin Scott, the little Scottish leprechaun. Again, we didn't do anything here today. Here again, he didn't pay the bill at Jabba's palace. That's what happened to Hans Thurman. We hope we can get him out. I made the same joke yesterday and it's still not funny. Here we have drinks in rainbow colors. Um, something smells like paint. Who's painting this? So at the moment, uh, this room has grown a lot. Uh, we have a little bit of a problem with uh, buzz in pickups from lights, so we're trying to figure that out. Unforeseen difficulties. Where's everyone? So we have now a very complicated. <laughs> we have repeat switches, they have arrived for this room. We have built pedal boards, show le pedal board. So we have our brands here that are supporting us at the event, which means we have Orange here, we have Stone Def, Matt Professor, uh, Rev, uh, Holly Benton. And there's more brands here, obviously, but those are the brands that are going to be represented as premium brands, which means they'll be in the rooms. Um, similar pedal board here, but different. And yeah, so the racks look a lot better. We're still waiting for an ox. Um, again, here the stand from Triad Orbit with the screen on it, which as far as I can see now, no a camera's missing. Now here we have a big ass stand because it's simply too heavy for the Ari Sky Panel which Philip organized. And yes, that's a six and a half or 7,000 euro light. Um, one of these might disappear on the last day. Don't look in my car or look in my car. So, it is eerie and weird to be at Toman in the middle of the night. And at this point in time, yesterday, because the reverberation here in this room is so beautiful, I did something that I kind of are inclined to do again because the reverb is so cool and when, how, when can you ever at Toman without any repercussions do <clears throat> with an L at the end, metal. That's a good room for this. I should do this on a normal day when there's customers here. What do you think, Dennis? Great. Great. It's someone up there. Perhaps. It was someone answered. <laughs> so, there is no metal. This is all metal y. Come on. No, this is rockabilly. This is neat. This is Biama for a double bass. You could you could fall in love with this. I have fallen in love with it. I have done dirty deeds with it. It's so bad. Yeah, because if you, I'll do a bass lesson. If you want to properly play a double bass, you only use your index finger, your middle finger, and. You always oh, use. I'll use my middle finger for you. Not a problem. You use your ring finger and your pinky together, and you always leave all fingers on. You have to actually listen. Damn it! He seems to know what he's doing. Studio Shamil on YouTube is a good channel to watch even though he's in it. Play me out, come on, come on. That's cool, we have walking music. That's good, sounds like walking bits. Hey people. Hello. 
Here it says, sorry, aktuell kein öffentlicher Bereich, which translates into, your mother smells of elderberries. <laughs> it's true. Um, here we are in Le Gong Departement. You're not supposed to play the gongs. You're not supposed to touch them. Don't do that. You really get in trouble. We made friends with the people here, so uh, we want to be nice. But of course, I have to do the naughty thing. So here we have the pedal room set up, which at Le Moment, which stands for the moment, get your ass out of the chair That's Matt Buckland for you. Um, we are up to five cameras. We're probably going to do six. I know Philip will bitch about that. Why do you need six cameras? Well, you know, because we have six cameras. And it could be cool. Um, so right now we have the main shot, which, uh, Dennis, what do you think? Framing? Uh, I like the symmetry. Good? Yeah. It's a fixed lens, so we're not moving that anymore. Good then. Yeah. Um, we have the guitar, which is not a guitar. That's a top shot for pedals or something. Then we actually have a pedal only shot we have a git 2 which could show a whole guitar or someone's crotch there's nothing there and there we have a movable camera which we can actually even those people are sitting there <sighs> kids um, we can actually possibly show all six amps without having people in the shot okay there you go um, that looks really crooked now. We need to really make those legs straighter. Um, yeah, we have a control surface here. We're still working on a better monitor for there. And uh, let's go in the room. That's the pedal room. We still also... That's bow. That's not a pedal room. What do you want? We would like to go in the pedal room, bow. Okay. But we still have to make sure that this is all neat. Um, we had some problems with the cable delivery, probably the most important cables, and they just didn't show up. So uh, we're, we're, we're coping. Now, the main camera for this room... Yeah. <laughs> it's so tiny! Look at this. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Come on. But it looks killer! So, that's the main camera. And then, we have another Blackmagic Cinema, uh, no, Micro 4K up here, with a 15... 15 something millimeter lens, which will show all this. Then we have this Canon XC15. Now that's that's down there. That's that's not the Canon. This is up here, dude. And let me let me show you this crazy setup because you know I love my Triad Orbit. So this is ridiculous. I really hope that this metal bar up there doesn't come down because <laughs> I'm very afraid. Um, it does wobble extensively. Uh oh. Bo? What's the problem? Look from here. It bends down. It bends out there. Why does it bend out there? You see that? Oh yeah, it bends. Can you do me a favor? We should mount like something. Zip tie that together and bend it back. Can you do that? I can. I will. Okay. Now? Yeah, just to be sure, because I don't like the way that's bending out. You guys didn't see that. Tomar people, nothing happened. Um, so, uh, we'll have, we'll, we'll zip tie these boards up there. Wait, I have a try it orbit pointy thing. <laughs> it's good for pointing. Dennis, get out of those We have to work here. So, we have these boards, then we have an IOC with an OA, with an uh, IO A2A, that's this long stick. Aluminum with a beautiful measured ring thing on it on here, and uh, then we have an m2 so that's kind of our setup to get these cameras overhead and also one of the shotgun mics so that means when we're sitting here literally the shotgun mic is half a meter away so we should have a really really good direct audio without the mic being in the shot i have no idea how to do these kind of shots without this kind of setup without tried orbit it's absolutely impossible um Usually we have our main tried orbit stand, the T3, here, which held the mic, held the screen, held a camera, which was the general idea. The problem with the fixed lens is that I had to go way back. Here it just wasn't happening. So um, right now this T3 is just holding the screen. Kind of overkill for just holding the screen. 
But um, it just ended up to be this way, and then having the uh, shotgun mic above. Can you see why it's bent? Yeah, because it's, there's too much force on there. But I'm gonna take two of those planks and zip tie them on the side. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. What would you be without me? I would be nothing without you. I'd be Cheers. nothing without that's on, that, you! That's on camera, it's good. It is on camera. Here we have a Blackmagic production 4K. The beautiful thing about it is, um, we well can see that right now. First of all, you see that it's active. Um, and when I push program, well right now that's the active camera, but it'll show you what is being filmed right now. So that's really, really cool. Um, and when you push Iris, it does something. And then you push Iris and you push up. And it does Iris up. So this is just a neat camera to have. And of course we can zoom in onto an amp. Autofocus on this thing sucks, like a lot. So we'll focus and bam, we can actually zoom in on an amp. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. Um, this rack is, again, amp heat switches, it's all there. Uh, we're missing one amp in here, which is the Dynamis. It is still in customs. And let's, uh, I think they already closed up the custom shop room, so we'll see. Um, that room already looks pretty damn good. They're missing an ox, and there's stuff missing everywhere, but we're on it. Um, uh, Bo? Yes. Uh, lens caps. Yes. Um, go into this micro four thirds lens in here. Understood. Oh, that's really wobbling. I'll fix it. Okay. I'll leave it to you. Now, look at this ridiculous setup that Bo did. That Bo did, Lee. Mm -hmm. oh. So, uh, we have a board up there with zip ties. And then uh, we have a, a boom, a long tried orbit boom. It's the O1 coming all the freaking way down here, holding this camera, which is possible because triad orbit freaking rules and also because the camera is lightweight. Now, the cameras. Uh, the one drawback of the camera is this big ass breakout cable, which is only on here to give it power. You can do LANC, which is four letters, I don't know what they mean. Um, and you can do reference and other things for professionals, not me. I just need it to power up. Um, and then we have two SDI cables on it. One is actually sending the 4K signal. The other one is getting the remote in so that we can remote control it from out there, meaning uh, brightness and focus. And for four of the cameras in here, we have that remote capability, which means twice the amount of cables. And those cables cost quite a bit of money. They're actually going all the way up there on these traversen, up there on these rafters. I think that's what it's called. The other thing is it's going through holes up there, which is pretty damn awesome. So right now, we have almost all the cameras set up, we have all the audio set up, and there is nothing on the floor to trip over. Because YouTubers are stupid people, and they will trip over shit. I count myself into that category. So right now, there's really nothing to trip over when it comes to camera, lighting, any of it. Again, we have an RE Sky panel, which is ridiculous. This, by the way, is my new bride. Her name is Valerie. I'm taking her home. That's kind of the thing she does. So, well, that's uh, really Is that custom shop room closed? It's still open. It's still open. Shouldn't we close it? We're waiting. So, custom shop room. We're not quite there yet because we're missing the cables. We only put SDI cables in the uh, pedal room because that's all we have. So, but uh, similar setup here, not quite as complicated because the pedal room needs the above cameras. Um, switcher, screens, that is all going with longer cables around this corner. Ooh, this is kind of illuminates beautifully. That's cool. Um, these are Millennium Cable Bridges, 89 bucks available at Toman. Um, so, in here, how do you turn this on? Can I turn this on? It boots, and then, whoa! In here we got Toman's GH5 SSs, three of them, and a GH. 
seven or seventy um, in uh, small rig cages. So we also have these EQ systems uh, acoustic panels, which we re which really will help us to have not the but the the wah in dryer dry wah. Well, I can see myself. That's a crotch shot. The lighting in here is better than over there. It's also different cameras, but um, that means that means Phil <laughs> um, has to fix the lighting over there. So um, yeah, we're missing the ox. You've probably already seen this totally awesome Tomagiert University sign that will be hanging in between here, between the beautiful Amprax that are designed and built with my team. They'll be hanging over there. I love the whole look of the wooden. Isn't that cool, Dennis? Mega cool. Totally, totally awesome. I, I love that look. We have a helix in here. Uh, still waiting for um, Synergy and um, Ref. Everything else we have. We have a, a DB Mark amp up there. These are the lights from the back, which you probably never see. That's nice to see. We'll put some guitars there. We'll still obviously need to put guitars in here and all this. But the rooms are open. They are nice to navigate in. They, uh, they don't feel crammed at all. Um, and we don't really have a lot of cables on the floor here. Nothing. Over here, obviously, we have some. We can have a movable camera here, which is another GH5. So, you know, that can move around really nicely. That's a much better lens than I have on those cameras in there. But of course, I had to use my lenses and they use their super special, super tomal lenses. Uh, look at my lens lens. Uh. Mine. That's how that works, Dennis, right? Right. It's how you buy things at Toman. Let's hope Phil never watches this because he will literally kill me. What else can I leak? Hey, Ari Sky Panel. It's too hot. That's ah, too hot, damn it. Uh, damn it. Okay, not mine. Um, he, in here, we are trying to get the shotgun mic also overhead. Watch out, there's a cable on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I said there are no cables on the floor. Um, there's a. Oh, we're gonna try to get the shotgun mic right here by doing something super highly technical. It's called a wooden board. <laughs> so we're literally gonna just put this on top of there, which is really just for decoration. We're hoping we're not taking the whole custom shop room down. I think Hans Thurman would frown upon that. Um, we'll put that up there, secure it with probably duct tape. You know, high, high techy techy shit. I mean, we, we have all this stuff and we're taking a wooden board with duct tape and hanging a mic from it. So, hey, some stuff, some stuff is the simple shit, okay? Triad Orbit hasn't made something yet that uh, you can use for out there. It will hang on a Triad Orbit clamp, but to get the clamp up there, wooden board, duct tape. Good. Those are the three rooms. On Saturday, we're setting up two more areas, but that's more like, that's relatively easy. And we're doing that while the YouTubers are getting their city tour. You know, they're like prancing around the city like, oh, look at this, oh, that is nice. Look at the river, oh, that is so nice. Robert Baker, how do you like the flowers in Bamberg? And then uh, Glenn Fricker is gonna, uh, gonna be like, hey, uh, uh, Trey, um, how do you like uh, the restaurant over there? Oh, let's go to the bakery, oh, and get some, hmm, hmm. Well, we're working our asses off here, setting up more areas, right, Dennis? Right. Yeah? There's, there's, there's no prancing around freaking Bamberg for us. No, fucking Bamberg. Just listen, to, listen to that word, Bamberg. Bamberg. It's like Bamberg. What do you miss that? Are we like in the freaking Flintstones here? Yeah, right. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go to Bamberg in my hotel room and catch some sleep. You guys are awesome for watching this crap. I don't know. Uh, Dennis is super awesome because he knows how to move a camera. Um, I'm really having, I, I heard a lot about him uh, and I've seen his work that he's done for Toman, all the really funny Toman videos that you see he does. Um, but I have to say it's, it's actually more fun to actually hang out with him and be silly. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. So we're having a blast. We are working our asses off. It is already again nine. So we've been here for 13 hours straight um, and I'm not quite done yet. So um, 
more tomorrow. We were hoping that we'd already be done today, but hey, there those are. This is how it works. You guys are awesome. No animals at the end because I don't have animals with me. I forgot my animal footage. Mm. Um, I could flip you a little bird. Mm. Love you guys. Uh, no links below. Patron. Patron link below. Go there. Donate some money so that we can do crazy shit. I don't know. Don't donate money. Just if you like what I do, you know, support us.